So we've got some sausages. You can use any type of sausage you like, actually. I'm using a beef sausage. Baked beans, can of tomatoes, a few spices, a bit of garlic and that. Potato on the top. So that's a kind of shepherd's pie. But yeah, let's just call it a sausage bean potato pie. Welcome back to How to Cook Great. Okay, so look, I've got a couple of tablespoons of oil in there. I'm using a sunflower oil. Below medium heat, I've got some sausages here. We're going to pop them in and just cook them off quickly. Now, I've got some beef sausages here. But you can use pork, you can use turkey, chicken. Use what you want. Use veggie ones if you like. So what we're going to do is we're just going to cook them in there and then set them aside. It's probably going to take these ones about six minutes. Okay, so look, they're done for me. But off goes the heat. I'm going to take them out. Once they cool down a little bit, I'm going to cut them into sort of bite-sized pieces. So the other ingredients we're going to need are right here. So we've got one can of tomatoes. That was a whole plum tomato, and I just crushed them up with my hand, roughly. One can of beans. Now, when I say a can, I mean a regular size kind of can, which is 400 ml, usually. One cup of onions, quarter cup of celery, cut nice and small, a tablespoon of garlic, and today I'm using sage. There's like a tablespoon of sage there. If you want tarragon, oregano, chili powder, some sort of taco mix, you can add what you want, but for me today it's sage. We're gonna go back to the cooker and start getting this together. So we're back and I've got the same pan with the oil that we cook the sausages in, just cause that gives it a nice bit of flavor, you know? We're gonna start off by dropping in one cup of onion. And we're on just an above medium heat now. One tablespoon of garlic. And that little bit of celery, which is optional, but I really like it in there. Now think about adding some other stuff to this. You can get some bell peppers in here, sweet corn, mushrooms, some other veggies if you want to sort of bulk it out. I'm now going to add, add my sage, and like I say, you can add a different herb and take it into whatever direction you want. I'll be back in three minutes. Okay, just three minutes there. Now, the sausages. You can see I've cut them up. Cut them a bit smaller if you want, that's up to you. We're now going to add some salt and pepper. And just another three minutes, I'm just going to throw these around in the pan. I want to get some of them, that garlic and the onion flavour and the sage onto the sausages. Okay, very simply, we're now going to take the can of tomatoes and we're going to drop them in. Now we're going to cook the tomatoes first before we put the beans in. So another three or four minutes now. Just want to kind of cook them out just a little bit. And then I'm back, we're nearly done, it's delicious this is. Fantastic, so look, we just cooked those tomatoes out a little bit. Now we're gonna get that one can of beans, which is roughly equal to the tomatoes. And we're gonna go for another three minutes, and you've done it, you've got a really nice sage and onion sausage bean filling for our potato pie, fabulous. So look, right there you can see our sausage and bean filling and next to that some mashed potato. Now I'm not going to go into great depth on how to make mashed potato. I presume most of you know how to do it. A little video is going to pop up right now. But basically what you do, peel your potatoes, boil your potatoes until they're super soft, drain them off, get them back in that same pot, start mashing. Add a little bit of butter, some black pepper, start mashing. A little bit of milk, mix away, you've done it. Okay, there you go, there's some mashed potatoes. Okay, so look, before we move on here, 
I need you to get your oven on and get it on maximum heat, full blast. Everything we've got here is cooked. We're just bringing it together. So oven really hot. Now you can see that I've got this glass. Now you can use glass, metal or ceramic. As long as it can go into the oven, it doesn't matter. You can see that our mixture's in there. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna get our potato and I'm gonna just layer it on the top. Back in a couple of minutes. So I've just popped that on. Now I'm gonna get a fork and just kind of smooth it out a little bit. You don't want it too smooth. We want those kind of peaks and troughs on there because they're gonna catch into the oven and hopefully get nice and golden brown. And then I'm gonna add some cheese. Now today I'm using Parmesan cheese. You could use cheddar if you want. Get a bit of cheese on the top, as much or as little as you like. I don't like that much on there because it kind of just acts as like a, you put too much on the oven, it's like a big layer of it, thick layer, I don't like that. So just gonna sprinkle that away. Now that's gonna go in my oven, which is really hot, preheated. Don't put this in a cold oven. Make sure your oven's really nice and hot. And then that's gonna go in, I think probably in my oven, about eight to 10 minutes, job done. Yeah, that was like sort of eight or nine minutes in my oven, full blast. Look at that lovely golden brown on the top. We've got a little bit of the sauce underneath bubbling out. Fabulous, I love that. Hope you enjoy that. Keep safe, keep well. I'll see you soon. Lots of love. Well, well done for making it to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all of you that follow the channel on a regular basis. You know who you are. There's loads of you. I'm cooking away like nonstop. As you can see, I've got some lovely food right in front of me here. We're just about to be, start our cookbook. We're doing our cookbook at the moment, which is going to take a long time to come out. I know a lot of you have been asking for it, but yeah, it's going to take a while, lots to do. But yeah, cooking away. Chef June is working really hard on the channel as well, doing his Filipino food in Tagalog. Rahel's got her own channel now doing the Ethiopian food, which is marvellous. It is in Amharic, the national language of Ethiopia, but check it out because she really, really is fantastic. I'm doing good. I hope you're doing great. Give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment. I do actually try and get back to everyone who leaves a comment for me. Subscribe, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. There's social media knocking about, you know, Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff if you want to check it out. But that's it. Keep safe. Keep well. Lots of love.